Hi, welcome back. This is Excel Video 100. I'll stop for a minute and say thank you to those of you who have been through all or most of these uh, video series. If you've watched a hundred of them, you've been six, seven hours of all kinds of things about Excel, everything from pivot tables all the way up to charts now. Hope you found them helpful and I appreciate you watching. That said, today we're going to move on to uh, this. Let me click into the graph and to layout menu. And this area here, we, we walked through each of these um, over the summer and spent a lot of time on each of uh, the kind of the components of a chart. What I want to do is spend a little bit of time over here. I'm in the chart tools layout menu, this trend line area over here. And what you can do is put a trend line into your chart. There are a couple of defaults off the top. I want to spend a minute in this more trend line options here because that will show you uh, all of our different options. Most of the trend lines that I do are linear. I'm not going to spend, you know, it will do exponential stuff. Maybe you're doing something clinical or scientific with uh, data out of your practice. You can do logarithmic stuff, polynomials. You can do all kinds of things. Uh, but the linear trend line and the moving average and some of these forecasting things, I think, are what's important for a medical practice. That's where we're going to spend our time. And today, we're going to talk just a bit about linear trend lines. So what we're going to do is we can make we're going to select linear here. Trend line name is going to be, we could call it linear. We could call it, I got 12 months worth of stuff. Let's call it annual trend. You'll notice as I've clicked linear, I've got a trend line going in here. I can call it annual trend. One of the things I can do with a trend line is I can forecast either forward or backward, however many periods I want to go out two, three, four periods or backwards. I could say, well, if I have this year's data, where would I have been and forecast back to where I'd have been in 2009? We can do some equation kind of things that we'll talk about later, but let's just put a trend line there. We can change the line color. Right now it's automatic. I can make it um, kind of a, a red there, and we can also make it a little bit wider so you can see it there. You can put a shadow to it. You can put some arrows on it. There are a couple of things you can do. But what I wanted to show you today is, hey, there's the trend line. With that, I can easily, you know, look at um, where my trend is. And if I, I've hidden the legend here because I only have the monthly charges here. It's not a big deal. But if you click over and turn the legend, let's show it at the bottom, shall we? You can see the, the charges in blue and this annual trend in red. And, you, and it's just a simple way to simplify maybe some uh, or uh, smooth out maybe is a better word uh, a bunch of data whether it's days weeks months whatever you have that's what I wanted to show you today is an easy way to put a trend line into your chart once you've got a trend line I want to spend some more time next time talking about forecasting and is if I have um, 12 months worth of data can I use this data can Excel help me forecast January of 2011 February of 2011 there are a couple of different ways Excel can do it, a couple of different reasons you may want to do it, and we'll talk about those next time. Thanks again for uh, making it through to Excel Video 100. Look forward to seeing you for the next series.